Hello people, my name is Nixon Dice and you are watching Smelly Cat. Okay, this video was not planned. I actually sat down to make my top 10 Middle Eastern fragrances video and then I realized that tomorrow is Father's Day and I thought why not quickly while everything is set up uh, just make a video on my recommendation for gifts that you can give your father on Father's Day. I'll just tell you about a few fragrances that I've gifted my father in the past so if you haven't bought anything for father's day yet just tell them that their gift is on the way or just blame it on smelly cat my list is based completely on the fragrances that my father either owns or has owned in the past these are fragrances that mostly i have gifted him uh, mostly on his anniversary birthday father's day so there's no real budget as such uh, see which one suits your budget uh, but these are fragrances that older, cooler, more confident people will like, like our fathers are. Anurag, this message is specially for you. Uh, I'm still recording my top 10 video. I actually set this whole thing up for that video. But while I was sitting, I said, you know, why not also quickly shoot this one as well. So yeah, it's coming. It's coming in the next couple of days. But first, I'll quickly do this one. Yeah. All right. So in no particular order, number one is from the house of Rosha or Roshas called Roshas mustache this one smells a lot like a budget version of ysl's tuxedo unlike an actual mustache this one doesn't take time to grow on you uh, it is an instant love kind of fragrance very classy very gentlemanly yet modern next we have arabian oud kashmir now if i had to pick my top 10 middle eastern fragrances without a budget this would definitely make my list. It is available for less than 300 dirhams now. And the way it is packaged and presented, uh, it could easily be sold for five times its price uh, if a designer or a niche branded it. It is clean and classy, has a nice rich smelling rose uh, all throughout the fragrance. Something that you'd find in a Montal or a Mancera fragrance. And the dry down is to die for. My dad uses this for special occasions, uh, comes in a nice, big, heavy box. It works great as a gift. Speaking about big boxes and great for gifting, another one from the house of Arabian Oath is Amiri. Joy Bhai has already done a review on it and his description is spot on. This is another one that my dad has kept only for special occasions just because of the way it's presented it looks expensive it looks like something that has to be used on special occasions he probably thinks i've spent around thousand dirhams in it which i have not i've spent the same as i've spent on arabian oud kashmir which is around 300 dirhams it is a steal and it's great for gifting oh wait now he knows <laughs> it's okay uh, the next is bentley for men absolute i've also gifted my dad bentley for men intense but he seems to like absolute more it's a warm and charming fragrance just like my dad there's something very comforting and reassuring about this fragrance and that's how dads are right you could call it a reincarnation of Gucci Poor Om. You know how in some Bollywood movies, you have Shah Rukh Khan or uh, some other protagonist die and then his mother comes out and says, no, he's not dead. He will be back right? like Rakhi. That's sort of what happened to uh, Gucci Poor Om. It died and it came back as Bentley for men. Absolute. Great scent. Talking about Bentleys, if you're looking for something that is slightly fresher uh, in the blue scent space but still a bentley you should try bentley for men black edition don't let the name fool you it's not a dark fragrance it's actually a blue cool refreshing scent it has that blue ambroxan feel but it's still dry and woody your dad could easily pull this off at office or even for casual wear. Plus the name Bentley sounds really nice to give as a gift. Since we're talking about blue fragrances, how could we leave out the original blue, Blue de Chanel? If you're gifting it to your dad, I'd suggest, even though the EDT is nice, the EDP and the perfume make for a much better scent for older men. Don't go for a clone. None of the clones, no matter how good they are, no matter how close they are, no matter how expensive they are, will not give you the same smooth, creamy, classy feeling of 
Bleu de Chanel. This is one of the first fragrances that my dad owned that I used to love. He used to have it locked in his cupboard and I used to somehow find my way into it and wear it and uh, go to college. In fact, when I moved back uh, here to Dubai for work, I actually stole it from him. Uh, but when I went back, I bought another one from Duty Free. Since we are talking about what I stole from my dad, here's another one. It's called Bulgari Pour Ohm Extreme. This one's just a classy, clean green fragrance. This one works all year round. It lasts pretty well and it has decent sillage. It will leave this nice, fresh, green, cool air around your dad. It is refined and understated. So if you're looking for something more sophisticated, I would suggest Bulgari's Pour Ohm Extreme. Now, if you're looking for something more old school, more dad-like, then I'd suggest Davidoff's Zeno. My dad used to wear this when I was growing up, so it's pretty nostalgic to me. The bottle itself is pretty uh, old school and cheap, but the scent compensates for that. It has that old school vibe, you know, the geranium, lavender, sandalwood combo that dads love so much. If you think your dad would like an 80s sort of scent, then go for David of Zeno. Another old school scent that my dad likes and one that I gifted him was Aramis 900. Now this is one of those scents that only an older, confident man can pull off. Mostly because of that strong civet note in it. Yes, that animal butthole smell. But it is super manly, even though it's got a lot of florals in there, especially rose. My dad actually likes wearing this over the weekend uh, when he's probably just shaved uh, or he's just lounging around the house. But that doesn't mean that this is just a weekend casual sort of scent. He likes wearing it to church. He likes wearing it to formal occasions as well. But this is one that he can keep wearing. It's not like a special occasion sort of scent. Another thing, try it before you buy it because not a lot of people will like that strong civet scent. All right, moving on to something on a budget. I think a good option is Sun Java for men. This one is great for hot weathers. It's got this watermelon and orange opening that is not very kiddish or young. Uh, another one that smells exactly like this is Sculpture Pour Ohm by Nikos. I like this one more. It smells slightly better, but if you can't find it, even this one is not a bad option and it goes for really cheap. These actually smell like uh, a lot of other fragrances like Dunhill Desire Blue, Dunhill Desire Red. There's also one from Rasasi called Chastity. So if you're really on a budget, even Rasasi's Chastity smells like these two and is a great option. Speaking about Rasasi, another cheap one from Rasasi is called Rasasi Royale. Not Rasasi Royale Blue, but the original Royale. This one might not be everyone's cup of tea, but if your dad likes Draka Noir, then this one smells almost like that. And if it's not available or if you don't have the budget for that, this one is available pretty cheap. Coming to my dad's three favorites from the Gela range. Gela, Gola, I don't know, however you want to pronounce it. It's Habit Rouge. Gela have the habit of making heavenly scents. This is totally his style a barbershop sort of fragrance that is a creamy powdery scent uh, but still has a strong citrus opening. It also has a well-balanced floral woody freshness to it. It is vintage but it's not dated and the Gala uh, DNA makes it a winner. If you're looking for that classic Gala DNA, I have to mention two other Gala fragrances. One is Gala Om EDP. Uh, this is a tester, so ignore that I don't have a cap on it. Uh, this is in my personal top 10 as well. It is an intoxicating fragrance, pun intended because it smells like a mojito. Opens up to a very unique lime, rum and mint. And then it slightly turns floral. And when it dries down, it is a top quality powdery, woody, vetiver, cedar, patchouli scent. Uh, the last one and another Gela is Gela's 
vetiver extreme this one sort of sets the bar when it comes to vetiver fragrance for me not the original uh, vetiver but the vetiver extreme i find it a bit classier smokier and woodier also it makes a great scent that you can borrow and wear from your dad uh, from time to time all right that's my list i have to actually go and record the other video this sort of is not planned like i said i'll go do that as anurag will message me saying where is the top 10 video uh if you haven't subscribed you know what to do hit that subscribe button hit the bell icon i'll go record the video until next time keep smelling amazing